Hi guys and ladies, I hope you can hear me over the noise of the cicadas. I was watching Jacques Pepin on PBS the other day, and he made a fish recipe that looked luscious and surprisingly low carb. So I found his recipe online, I picked up all the ingredients, well, you know, except for one. So <laughs> how about if we shop for some fish now? I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. So my idea is to go extra tiny today, just for fun. Let's see what we can catch on one of these old one inch little pieces of plastic. I have it on a 132nd jig head. I'll put all the particulars in the notes below. Now I tried to find the name of this little lure, but I can't, I, I don't think it's made anymore. I've probably had these for decades. Well, let's see what the fish think of them. I'm going to make a cast right here from the dock. Got one. <laughs> and this is the size that we have to remove from the lake because there's too many of them and they're stunted. The biologist said get them out of the lake so it'll make two good fillets, perfect eating. A very edible bluegill. So I like you to see that my lure sort of imitates a cicada. Notice the orangey colors. Well, what do you say we take the boat out and do some fishing from the boat? Right under the boat almost. <laughs> oh, it's small, but these are very edible and they're delicious. Oh, what a big beauty! Very nice bluegill. Nice, like taking candy from a baby. This is a cicada imitation. I think that's why they're going for it. Yep, got him. Where are you? Ah. Oh, nice one. Nice one. He's not spawning. He's not in spawning colors. So I don't feel bad about taking him. Another, another beauty. Very nice bluegill. Cicada bug. <laughs> right under the tree. Another good bluegill. I mean, they're big. They're not massive, but they're they're all big. Okay, I've got eight nice fish here. That'll give me over a pound of fish fillets. Let's get in the house, fillet them, and we'll start on Jacques Pepin's recipe. So the cicadas were boisterous yesterday, but they inspired the fish to bite on my little lure. And the result, well, I was quickly able to produce about a pound and a half of fish fillets. Just what I need for this recipe, fish riviera with pico de gallo. I'm supposed to dice this cucumber. I don't know how to do that. Let's see. 
So I'll start by peeling it. So here I bought some chives. I don't think I've ever used them. They smell oniony. I'm supposed to chop these and they're rolling onto the floor. Here's a small bunch of cilantro, a handful. This is strange. The recipe doesn't say to heat the skillet. It only mentions heat after all the ingredients are in there. So let's start by dumping in the ingredients. I'm going to start with a cup of this white wine. Mm. Here I have almost a cup of pico de gallo made fresh at the grocery store. All it really is is fresh made salsa. Let's throw it in. Now the cucumbers. I probably should have put the fish in first, but let's get it in there. Fit. I kind of rearranged the fish so the fish is on the bottom and the salsa is on top. So I'm going to cover this and bring it up to a boil. This is boiling. You only have to boil this for like 30 seconds. It sounds almost like not enough. Well, let's get the fish out now because it's been 30 seconds. That's not cooked. Let it go. These recipes, let it go a minute. It's been about a minute and a half, two minutes. Let's get them out. We're gonna get just the fillets out, not the sauce. Oh, they're cooked. I'm gonna put them on two plates. Ooh, the fragrance. Oh, I love the smell. So I got them on two plates. I'm going to pour the juice off and keep the plates warm in the oven. Okay, now I'm going to add about, oh, I don't know, almost a full cup of heavy cream. And then I'm going to bring it to a boil. So I'm going to cook our sauce for about a minute, let it reduce. You know, that you don't see many carbs in here, do you? This is really nice and low carb and luscious. It's been a couple of minutes but our creamy salsa sauce is thickened up nicely. Now we're gonna pour it over the fish. Oh, 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 look at this. Creamy, yummy, oh yeah. Let's add our chives and a little bit of our cilantro. So I'm warming up our plates in the oven. You know, I might as well tell you that famous restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks is on her way over for dinner tonight. I don't know what I can do to arouse her interest in marrying me. I still think that if I can stir up a little jealousy in her, she'll be more apt to uh, mention marriage to me. But uh, what can I do to make her jealous? I, I only have eyes for her. Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant uh, and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks herself. Thank you so much for honoring me by coming to my ramshackled residence. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> and uh, you had a chance to enjoy or partake in my cicada bug fish riviera with uh, pico de gallo sauce. And that had also cucumber uh, in chives and cilantro. What did you think? It was very good. I enjoyed it. It was a you know it was very tasty, and the fish mm -hmm. tasted good. And I liked all the extra vegetables. And the, just the overall flavor was very nice. Really? Thank you. No, thank you so much. Although uh, Miss Cheeks, oh, oh, I can say uh, Lulu now. Sure. sure. Uh, I'm going to have to be frank with you uh, tonight. Um, uh, my attempts at starting a relationship, well, they're not going very well. And, you know, I'm going to have to start uh, dating other women. Oh, that's too bad. Who is the woman you're dating now? Oh. Mm. Uh, can I have a hug? Sure.